I love Fujifilm cameras, but there is one thing I really want Fujifilm to change. Fujifilm, listen up. I'm gonna be giving you pearls of wisdom here right after this. Hi everyone and welcome to Pal to Tech. I've saved every email, comment, and message that I've received on this channel since 2019. And sometimes I'll see a connection throughout the thousands of messages that I receive. Something that is the same thing that trips up people and could just be made so much better by one little fix, one little adjustment. And you can do it, Fuji. So here's what's going on. Whenever someone purchases a brand new X-T3, X-T4, or I'm assuming any X-Series camera, they turn on the camera and they go out and they start using it. Often though, without making any changes to the default settings of the camera. Photographers that are new to Fujifilm often do this. <laughs> Heck, even doctors, lawyers, astronauts, dentists, librarians, undertakers, and that guy that runs the one hour martinizing dry cleaning in Los Angeles. Even him, they start using the camera and they don't really dig into the settings at first. But here's the problem. When you first start using, say, an X-T3, the Fujifilm camera defaults to what Fujifilm calls normal mode. You see it right here in the options? They've got normal and boost mode. Now here's the thing. If you don't know to come in here and change this setting to boost mode, then the camera will right away upon first use give you two problems. The first is that autofocus will not be as reliable nor as fast as if you had already known to go in here and change this to boost mode. And having the fastest autofocus that you can get out of the camera, <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of part of that whole camera usage photo shooting process sort of thing. And secondly, the viewfinder display on the back of the camera will start looking really, what's the word I'm looking for? Cheap and crappy. <laughs> okay, let me show you what I mean. Okay, I have the camera now in boost mode. Watch this. Looks normal, right? Viewfinder looks good. No problems here. No problems here at all, looking good. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera into normal mode, or what Fujifilm calls normal mode. Have a look at this. Do you see this? Do you see how the screen is jittery? Look at that. Look at the frame rate. And here's how dim the screen is in normal mode. Okay, back in boost mode. Look at that. So here's the thing. Think about the language that's used in the camera settings. Normal mode is actually not normal. It's an underperforming mode that I can't imagine anyone wanting to use if they're out shooting with a Fujifilm camera. But unfortunately, it's called normal. And because of that one thing, a lot of new Fujifilm users assume that that is the normal mode and they just keep it set that way. And I get so many questions about this. Why is my viewfinder stuttering? Why is my autofocus not as fast as yours, pal de tech? What are you pulling on us? <laughs> Should I send in my camera to Fujifilm repair? It's broken! <laughs> and so on, and so on, and so on. So Fuji, here's what I think you need to do. First, rename these modes to normal mode and low power mode. Normal mode will be what the boost mode is right now. Just call it normal. Then have low power mode as the underperforming mode option for those that want to save battery power. I really do think you should consider making a change like this. And if you do, I think you're going to have a lot more happy and less confused new users to Fujifilm, particularly with regard to the rear LCD screen. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put myself in goodbye mode right? and say the following. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you found the video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I will see all of you in a new video very soon. Take care.